Hello Year 12. This is a message from Mr Kinsman about choosing your university. A lot has changed since I took my A-levels in 1984. Back in the day, there were no tuition fees for students. I received a £2,000 student grant from my local authority and around 12% of my age group went on to study a degree. Priority number one for the students at my sixth form in Manchester was getting away from home, but for you, the financial situation is very different. And so, if you are thinking of moving out of London, suggestion number one is that you talk to your families about this to work out the finances. The next decision for my generation was, how far did we want to go? The most popular choices tended to be across the Pennines from Manchester in cities such as Leeds and Sheffield, or within a radius of about 90 miles. Questions you may want to ask are, how far could I travel across London if I stay at home? Or, if I want to move away, will my parents be able to pay a surprise visit? And how long will it take me to get home? Living expenses in the North and the Midlands tend to be cheaper than in London and the South East, and so that's one thing that you might like to think about. Another thing to think about is, do I want to attend a campus or a city university? A campus can be convenient and compact, but if it's out of town, could it be isolating? Be sure to visit and ask, could I really live here for three years? Finally, for me, the most important thing was getting the course right. I wanted to study literature. I wanted to continue with French, which had taken to A-level, and I wanted to spend a year abroad. What do you want to get out of your course? Take care and good luck with your university applications. Hi, Year 12s. Hope you're all happy and well rested. My name is Miss Chowdhury and I'm an English teacher at Beale High School. Okay, so in terms of what to take into consideration when choosing your university, I would say the main thing is location, since most universities have a selection of courses to choose from anyway. When it comes to choosing your university, ask yourself this. Do you want to live at home and travel to university or do you want to live on a university campus? If you want to stay at home and travel to university, then make sure you don't apply for universities that are more than one and a half hours travel, because travelling for more than that on a daily basis is hard and you will struggle. Also, when choosing your university, on UCAS they let you choose up to three different universities. I would recommend ranking your choices in this order. For number one, the university you aspire to go to. For number two, the university which you know you can get into. And for number three, the university which is your safety net in case you don't achieve the grades you had hoped for. Finally, my last point. What course you want to study at university should be completely up to you. Of course, seek advice from family members, friends and people who have gone to university, etc. But ultimately, you should make the choice as you will be the one who has to work hard for your degree. That being said, if you end up regretting the course which you chose, then not to worry, as most universities allow you to change to another course as long as you apply to change during your first year of university. Also, University is honestly a lot more relaxed than a lot of people give it credit for. I loved university. It gave me the time and freedom to figure out what type of person I am and who I want to be. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm going to stop talking now, but don't be anxious or nervous because Mr. Vigela, we, your form tutors and everyone else in the year team are here to help you. So yeah, good luck guys. Hello Year 12, it's Miss Hassan here. I studied geography at Queen Mary University of London quite some time ago now. I knew I wanted to study geography early on, but what really solidified this decision was the fact that by year 12, I really got to the crux of the subject and realised that geography was all around me through my love of travel, my identity, and it also linked to all my other subjects. So geography was a no-brainer. Do something you love and have a true passion for. Once I decided on my subject, the next step was to look at what universities offered the most interesting courses. I loved human and physical geography, so it was important that I had a balance of both. So I started researching online and reading up on what universities were top for geographical research. Also, the geographer in me looked into which ones offered the best trips and possible internships and exchange programs 
NYU, Miami and Iceland sounded like a great idea to a 17 year old me. I was quite adamant that I wanted to stick to the Russell Group universities and apply to most of them. I found that they offer excellent teaching and research facilities and most are world renowned. I got offers and interviews, but also at the same time, I picked one as a reserve just in case, which wasn't a Russell Group. Now, I applied mostly to the London universities purely because I love this city and also because being a bit of a homebody, I couldn't give up my mum's cooking and home comforts. Although I stayed at home, I really did get a great experience at Queen Mary because I met people from all walks of life who I can call true friends for life and I also had opportunities to travel, which was key for me. I would strongly advise you to visit University Open Days, be it online or an actual visit once it's safe to do so. You will get to meet students and get most of your questions answered. I wish you all the best with writing your personal statements and kickstarting this very exciting process. Hello Year 12s, this is Miss Saeed from the Maths Department. I just wanted to give you my input on university research. Let me give you a little bit of a background on myself. I hold an MBA degree from the Institute of Management Sciences in Pakistan, which has an affiliation with the College of Stratton Islands in New York in US. So when I was at a similar age as you guys, I started to do my research for university applications. I did my three A-levels, which were maths, statistics and English literature. A bit of a weird combination, I must say. But the reason behind that was that I wanted to do something related to banking and finance and my mother being an English teacher encouraged me to take English literature. So I did my A-levels, I got my three A's, I had met all the university requirements for the top universities. The four things that I considered in the university, university research was the first thing was the finance because in Pakistan we have to pay for towards our university education. So I wanted to see that my university that I applied was something affordable for my family. So the second thing I had to consider was the employability. Would that university give me the career path or the job that I was looking for after I had finished my degree? The third thing was the worldwide recognition of my university. So if in future I decide to relocate to another part of the world, will my university degree will still be recognized? Will it be still something that will hold reputation and recognition? And the fourth thing was that I had to think about relocation because all the top universities were in different parts of the country. So they were in different cities to from where I lived. So I must tell you that I applied to the top four universities. The top university in Pakistan rejected me on the ground that I did not pass their entry entrance exam. I had got the three A-levels they wanted. I had a very high GMAT score, but I failed their entrance exam. So my, my backup plan was in place. I had the Institute of Management Sciences, which was my second choice. I got an offer, I had a place. So I did my bachelor's from there first, and then I did my master's. And here I stand in front of you, when I relocated to UK, I, I still have a job here. I could use my degree and still work here. So whenever you make the choice or whenever whatever research you do, make sure you look for a career path, you look for a, a university or a degree that you have a passion for, that you want to work f do f for the rest of your life, which you will enjoy. And I think... Keep researching, keep looking, make an informed decision, don't rush. But do take care and start looking into different universities. Take care. Bye.